Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of our lives weekly spoilers reveal Jada Hunter freaks out Eric Brady when she changes her mind about carrying his baby. So, he makes a beeline to confront his ex, rightly blaming her for the change of heart. Also, Wendy Shin confronts her brother. Meanwhile, Sarah Horton demands answers from her lying husband. All this and more to come on the Peacock Soap the week of November 28, December 2. DOL weekly spoilers hint that Jada Hunter, Elia Cantu, tells Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, she doesn't want to keep his baby after all. Recently, Nicole Walker, Arian Zucker, discouraged her from the path of being a working mom. It sure sounds like Eric's ex is now considering terminating her pregnancy. And it's all down to the prodding of one very jealous woman in his life, Nicole. So, Jada tells her boss she changed her mind, Jada says she can't have his baby after all. Days of our lives spoilers indicate while Jada's having second thoughts, Eric is bonding with his brother Brady Black, Eric Martsoff, over fatherhood. The ex-priest really wants to be a dad, soon, Jada tells Eric Brady she changed her mind. Will she also reveal that his ex dissed her on DOL? Just maybe, Nicole tells Eric herself. Or he may put the two and two together and blame his ex-wife for butting in. Next week, Eric explodes on Nicole. And her pushing Jada to reconsider the pregnancy is likely a breakpoint for them, and he won't get back with his ex+. Plus. Spoilers indicate Ms. Walker's soon boozing with grief-stricken E.J. DiMera, Dan Fuerigal. She also has a bad dream involving Elves Jr. So, does she sleep with him or not? Days of our lives spoilers hint Jada Hunter may fall for Ray Fernandez, Galen Gehring. The Day of Days promo showed those two out together for the holidays. They certainly have in common that Nicole did them both dirty. So, Eric Brady might have a blue Christmas all alone. And his ex-wife might be in the same boat. But will Jada Hunter continue her pregnancy on DOOL? Days of our lives week ahead spoilers say Wendy Shin, Victoria Grace, lays into Lee Shin, Remington Hoffman. She learned that Lee had Dr. Rolf, Richard Wharton, brainwashed Stefan DiMera, Brandon Barish, she put her life in danger in Jakarta, Indonesia, to get answers. But, of course, Lee may try to convince Wendy to keep his evil deed secret on DOOL. After all, they are family, he must continue his quest for power at Demera Enterprises and wants equally power-hungry Gabby Hernandez, Camila Banis, by his side. So, he pleads with Wendy to do right by him, Wendy may disagree with Lee's tactics on Days of Our Lives. Yet, he is her brother. In addition, she could use this knowledge to her advantage as well, but what will her friend Johnny DiMera, Carson Boatman, think about her decision? He risked his life for her in Asia too. Will they spill the beans or stay zipped up on the peacock soap opera? Days of Our Lives weekly spoilers report Sarah Horton, Lindsay Godfrey, confronts her husband, Xander Cook. She must know if he kidnapped Susan Banks, Stacey Hayduk, and Bonnie Lockhart, Judy Evans. After all, the facts are stacked against him. He has a blue suit. Xander is built like the strongman Bonnie described to the police. Further, Xander Cook quit his job at the made-up pharmaceutical startup because of his vicious boss. Of course, he did take the women hostage. Susan for money, then Bonnie by accident. His boss was the dangerous mobster Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun. To make things worse, he came clean to his ex, Gwen Rizek, Emily O'Brien, but, will the hunk confess to Sarah next week on days? He could lose her forever if he does. And could also lose her if he doesn't come clean with his wife. Watch for his answer on the Peacock exclusive next week, are Sarah and Xander going to split up? The drama continues into December. Jada Hunter reveals a second shocker to Eric Brady, and he's livid that his ex's interference might cost him the chance to finally be a father. Plenty of twists and turns await days of our lives fans the week of November 28th to December 2nd on Peacock. Come back to Soap Dirt for your favorite days of our lives spoilers and news. Days of our lives comings and goings remind fans Eli Grant returns to Salem for Christmas and brings his twins. 
In addition, Sister Mary Moira sticks around this month. And Trip Dalton may be tragically killed on the Peacock Sudzer. Dool comings and goings indicated for a while that Eli Grant, Lamont Archie, makes his way home for the holidays with his toddler twins, Jules and Carver. Of course, Eli's wife, Lonnie Grant, Sal Stowers, is still behind bars in Maryland, after all, she serves time for killing her abusive biological father. Further, Julie Williams, Susan Seaforth Hayes, can't wait to see her grandson Eli and great-grandkids on Days of Our Lives, she was heartbroken when Eli Grant left the state. However, she understood. And now Eli's home to visit with her namesake and her twin brother. Of course, Eli may have something to say to his in-laws. Dool viewers see turmoil in the lives of Paulina Price, Jackie Harry, and Ave Carver, James Reynolds. Needless to say, they'll be excited to see them all. Yet, Eli may offer advice to the politicians. Days of our lives comings and goings report Eli Grant and his children may be back in Salem in time to hang their ornaments on the Horton family Christmas tree. The twins may be big enough now to participate in the decades-old family tradition with their dad Eli, Days of our lives comings and goings saw sister Mary Moira return. She's home to mourn the tragic loss of her quadruplet sister Susan Banks, Stacy Hayduk. But she doesn't hesitate to scold and console her nephew E.J. DeMera, Dan Fuerigal, the nun lectures Nicole Walker, Arian Zucker, this week on Days. The model-slash-executive-slash-single mom is a hot mess. But the kindly Mary Moira also suggests the lost woman needs blessings ASAP, maybe she'll get a Christmas miracle. Plus, she has her daughter Holly's birthday coming up to celebrate. Look for the conversation soon on the Peacock exclusive, further, comings and goings don't indicate how long the holy woman will stick around Salem. After all, she is God's work to do. But she could spend the holidays with her family, plus, DOL spoilers point to a kiss under the mistletoe for the chaste nun with none other than Brady Black. Chances are he thinks his baby mama Kristen Brady plays another trick on him by dressing up like her doppelganger. DOL comings and goings reveal Trip Dalton, Lucas Adams, returns to town to take care of some unfinished business. Not only may he think his mother is dead, but the mob princess also killed Susan, he feels compelled to pay respects to Susan's family and attend her memorial. But spoilers point to Trip's mother Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, planting a bomb. Of course, she could be unaware her son is at the funeral. Comings and goings hint at the tragedy at the memorial. Yet, days of our lives comings and goings have not spilled who leaves the canvas, watch for the details soon. Sadly, Trip Dalton may not live to see the new year. However, fans can eagerly await Eli Grant and his twins coming home for the holidays. Plus, be on the lookout for Sister Mary Moira and her time under the mistletoe on Days of Our Lives. Come back to Soap Dirt for more Days of Our Lives comings and gongs and spoilers updates. The Days of Our Lives recap September 15, 2022 sees Stefan DiMera, Brandon Barish, rushing to Chloe Lane, Nadia Bjorlin, after a villain pushes him in the right direction. Plus, a father angers a son again and Rachel Black's custody is at stake on DOOL on Thursday, Chloe Lane, Nadia Bjorlin, and Brady Black, Eric Martsolf, show up for the custody hearing and he's nervous on DOOL on Thursday. She reassures him that Kristen DiMera's, Stacey Hayduk, reputation will tank her chances. L.I. Shin, Remington Hoffman, intercepts her on her way to court and says they need to talk about Stefan DiMera, Brandon Barish. She's upset that Lee woke up Stefan and asks if he knows where he went since it wasn't straight to Chloe. On Days of Our Lives, spoilers see Kristen surprised to hear her brother showed up at the crypt. She chews him out for scaring her when everything went just great. He tells her that Stefan took off after refusing the hospital. Kristen insists he must go after Chloe. The judge shows up and Bell Black, Martha Madison, says her not showing up isn't a good sign and motions to dismiss the case. Kristen rushes into the office and apologizes. She says she fired her lawyer and will represent herself. L mocks her as Kristen calls her first witness, she calls Chloe. The judge said it doesn't work like that. Then, she says Brady and his girlfriend are constantly together and says their daughter hates Chloe. 
The judge agrees on days of our lives, Kristen asks why is she trying to steal her daughter. Chloe Lane says she's not and has a son, whose love is enough. Then, she asks about Chloe stealing a child. She brings up Nicole Walker, Arian Zucker, and the baby Chloe kept from her dot ms. Demera tells the judge that Chloe went to great lengths to keep a mother from her child. Belle interrupts to ask how Chloe gets along with Nicole now. She says they get along, and she even babysits for Holly. Brady worries and Belle offers little assurance. The judge steps out and Kristen steps over to talk to them. She says she only brought up true things. Chloe wants to testify, but Belle says don't engage and tells her to leave the hearing. Belle says getting her out of the line of fire is best Kristen comes back on days of our lives. Recap info says Chloe Lane kisses Brady goodbye and then goes. Brady's wicked baby mama says she's just getting started. Back at the hearing, Belle says his baby mama's got no complaints about Brady as a father. Then, his ex has questions for him. Belle advises her brother not to let his ex bait him. Kristen asks why he wants their daughter raised by a murderer and he flinches. In her hotel room, Chloe's stunned as Stefan D. Mara is right there in front of her, a determined Gabby Hernandez, Camila Banis, looks at Stefan's wedding ring and says she won't let him go. She flashes back to kissing him and his rejection. Then, he said he didn't love her. And he can't stand the sight of her, Gabby wonders what Rolf, Richard Wharton, did to him. On Days of Our Lives She refuses to say goodbye and storms out of the crypt. She waits at the mansion as EJ arrives and she tells him that his little brother is alive. He really needs a drink. He's shocked that Lee also knows about his undead brother. She says Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, saw Stefan, not Jake. And she adds that Stefan got Rolf like you did. She tells Elvis Jr. she thinks his sister's involved. He's not happy with that. EJ mocks Gabby for not having a joyous reunion with her hubby then laughs as she storms out. At the office, Lee finds Stefan D. Mara in the CEO chair. The not dead guy says he wandered around after leaving the crypt. He asks for confirmation he was dead four years, Stefan looks at Gobby's CEO nameplate and Lee asks if he came for her. Stefan says he feels in control there. Then, he confirms to the younger Shin that he's not seen her. On the Days of Our Lives recap, Lee's thrilled that Stefan's brainwashing worked, Stefan tells him not to worry, the thought of Gabby makes him sick. Next, he tells Lee he's got no idea where to go and the other guy brings up Chloe Lane. Then, Lee tells Stefan that Chloe's at the Salem Inn. Stefan Demera heads out and Lee breathes a sigh of relief. On Thursday's Days of Our Lives, at the inn, Ava's startled by a wet towel-clad Johnny Demera, Carson Boatman, coming out of the shower. She's stressed about a bad day at work and wants him to go. She asks if he'll go home, and he says maybe not, he thinks the knocker at the door is room service. Johnny opens the door in his towel and of course, it's his dad, E.J. Demera, Dan Fuerigal. He tells his son to get dressed and come with him, Johnny refuses to come with him. E.J. pops into the room and tells Ava he just wants to take his son off her hands. Ava says she and Johnny have plans and puts her arms around him, implying sex. She tells him to stay and watch or leave. EJ says he won't make the mistake of caring about him again on days of our lives. He leaves and Johnny's room service arrives. Johnny flirts with Ava who says he still has to go, she was just taunting his father. He says his dad's still trying to run his life. Johnny asks where he should go. She says it can't be there, with her. She loads him up with compliments. He asks when he can see her again, and she says not for a while. He agrees and grabs his bag and goes. EJ talks to his dad's portrait and says Gobby's stock now belongs to Stefan. So, he thinks this opens the door for him to retake the company and knock her out of the CEO chair. AT the office, Gabby shows up. Then, Lee acts shocked about Stefan Demera being alive. So, she says someone needs to tell Ava it's not Jake she's been seeing, on the recent days of our lives episode, Allie Horton, Lindsay Arnold, and Chanel Dupree, Raven Bowens, 
lament that their bakery oven died and they had to bake 10,000 cookies at the apartment. Chanel brings up Johnny betting trip Daltons. Lucas Adams, mom then, Ali says they can't know that Ava and Johnny are sleeping together. But she says she's not judging her brother's decision. But she agrees it's weird. And she wants to know why Chanel cares so much, Chanel rants and says it's just about her age, nothing else. But Ali says she's obsessed with who her brother's with and then walks off. She says she's only worried about Johnny because Ava's a scary woman. So, she thinks Ali should care just as much then, on days of our lives, Chanel blows up at her girlfriend and takes a box of cookies then leaves to see her mom. Ali runs into Ava in the square and asks about her brother and her intentions. She says her brother's vulnerable. She doesn't want him hurt. Chanel's back at the apartment to apologize. Then, Johnny's at the door of their place with his bag in his hand. Will he crash with his ex and his twin, so he doesn't have to dig into his trust fund? On the next episode on Peacock, we expect to see more of Stefan D. Mara wooing Chloe Lane to win her back. With things with her and Brady so tense, maybe she'll open her heart to her not-so-dead beau.